today we're gonna be learning about reversing tooth complement. Now doesn't that sound exciting? So the first thing you need is a number in tooth complement. Let's say you converted a number to tooth complement and you forgot what number it was that you converted because you had like some sort of mental lapse. So yeah, you had some sort of mental lapse and now you need to get that number back. So first you take the number that is in tooth complement. So let's get a number here. So you have this number and you identify whether it is positive or negative. So you look at it, there's a one at the front. So it's negative. And then the second step is to subtract 1 from the number. Because you have identified it as negative, so now you subtract 1. So now you have this number. And the next step is to swap the 1s and zeros. So you just go everywhere there's a 1, you put a 0, and everywhere there's a 0, you put a 1. Then you remove the zeros from the front of the number and that leaves you with just a normal binary number right here. So then you take this number and you convert it to base 10. And then the answer you should end up with, if it were this number you were converting, would be 9 in base 10. And that's how to convert a negative number. Now for positive numbers, it is much easier, thank goodness. So first step, you take your positive number. So you have a positive number identified by the fact that it has a zero at the front. And then you just, you take away the zeros at the front. These can leave. And then you just swoop convert to base 10. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Okay, bye.